Greetings everyone, DFG here. Hey guys, um, just wanted to take a moment and uh, talk to you about generosity. Yes, generosity. Oh, and by the way, if you can hear, uh, I'll kind of let you see where, you know, what's going on around me. I don't know if you can see the ducks, but I'm in uh, the beautiful Audubon Park uh, in uh, uptown New Orleans. So just a great place to reflect and then uh, share some insight with you on generosity, especially after my rough day yesterday. So in a much better mood, thanks uh, to um, thanks for, to Yahweh first, but then a couple of uh, friends who were very encouraging uh, as well. So to those of you all, you know who you are. I just want to tell you I appreciate you very much. But anyway, back to the uh, subject matter at hand. I'm reading from the book of Ecclesiasticus. I don't know if you can see that very well. But um, anyway, it's, like, it's not Ecclesiastics, but Ecclesiastes. Uh, but it's some good information, and it's a book of wisdom. And, uh, you know, I try to keep up with wisdom. You know, I try to marry up with it. You know, it's, it's kind of, it's, you know, I, I have a love affair with, with wisdom. And uh, so should you. She's a beautiful, beautiful woman to have, you know, as your lover. Okay? That's spiritual. All right? <laughs> so we clear here. All right. But anyway, on generosity, it says, My son, do good without scolding, and do not spoil your generosity with hard words. So a word can do more than a gift. A kind word counts more than a rich presence. And with gracious men, you will find both. Again, do not do good without scolding. All right, do good without being fussy and angry. Uh, do not spoil your generosity with harsh words. So if you're going to be kind, be kind. But don't do something good and then holler at someone. And Mr. Green has been, you know, been a struggle with me, believe it or not, as of... Uh, late so I'm working on that so you should see a better performance uh, in that area with me so maybe you have the same challenge as well uh, you know you can do good but you need to make sure you're backing that good up with a, with a very good disposition and great words uh, do not does not to do give respite from the weltering heat so in other words like cool water on a hot day that's what kind words does with a good disposition how about that and then so a word can do more than a gift. A kind word can do more than a gift. And that's true. Someone can give you something and you're, you're appreciative. But something, someone can say something great to you. And that may keep you uh, inspired for days and days and days. You know what I'm saying? So whenever you want to do a good for someone, you want to give them a gift, sometimes just give them a great word. Just say something encouraging. Thank you. I appreciate you. You're beautiful. You're a wonderful human being. You know, I appreciate your effort. You know what I'm saying? You're a great team, you know, player. I love you. You know what I'm saying? All those things, they really matter. I appreciate you. Again, I know I said that already. But always remember, those kind words will be remembered long after that gift is gone. And then it goes, a kind word counts for more than a rich present. I said that, right? And with a gracious, well, with a gracious man, you will find both. both. So when, in this instance, when we say man, we're going to talk about mankind. So that's female and male. So remember, a gracious word is better than a kind gift. Uh, when you give a gift, you can't give the gift grudgingly or angrily. Uh, when you um, think in terms of, you know, what kind of presence you want to have. How do you want people to feel when you're around? Still with the plane flying over. Uh, then uh, your disposition, you know what I'm saying? The way you handle yourself, the words that come out of your mouth, you know, the spirit, the light that you bring with you is going to have a lot to do with how you're gonna be remembered by others, okay? So, anyway, that's the word for the day on generosity. So, uh, you know, hope that uh, inspires you as it has inspired me. Oh, and by the way, if you haven't gotten outside lately, get outside, get some sun. You follow me? Sun is great for vitamin D and great for good health, all right? Great, you know, for your skin, all right? Keep your skin nice and healthy. Now, obviously, for my white brothers and sisters, Put a little suntan, suntan lotion on, all right? So we don't want you to be burning as you get, you know, the vitamin D. All right? Love you guys. DFG here, Gideon's Flight. Have a great day. Bye, everyone. Oh, by the way, subscribe. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Appreciate you guys. Bye-bye.